Ocean pollution is one of the most serious environmental issues we're currently facing as a species. If we continue with the current rate of plastic waste, we will have real seas of plastic around the year of 2050, killing our marine life. In this The Daily Eagle video, we're going to analyze the cause of plastic waste in our oceans, as well as the consequences that this entails. In addition, we'll talk about the possible solutions to this problem. Are you ready? Let's dive right in. Causes of plastic waste in the ocean. When we dispose of plastics that we no longer use, they can follow several routes. They can be incinerated, recycled, end up in a landfill or anywhere else if we don't dispose of them properly. Those that are not recycled or incinerated, even those that are still in the yellow container, can be washed into the sea or the ocean due to the wind or the rain. In addition, we also find plastic in the sea that originate from deliberate dumping of garbage, accidental dumping from ships, or due to sewage treatment plants. None of this would happen on such a large scale if we didn't manufacture this amount of plastic that we do in the first place. Types of plastic in the ocean. More than 80% of marine litter is plastic. Of this percentage, we can confirm that 49% corresponds to single-use plastic, a truly alarming amount. Another 27% corresponds to plastic used in fishing equipment, and the remaining 6% is other plastic. The most common single-use plastics that have been found on the beaches and seabed are lids, bottles, cigarette butts, cotton butts, snack wrappers, hygiene items, plastic bags, Tupperware, straws, plates, glasses, balloons, and food containers. These products represent 86% of single-use plastics, or 43% of all marine litter. Some have even been found 10,000 meters in depth. However, some areas, which are called plastic islands, have been identified where they have a great concentration of plastic. Before we continue, let's put you to the test. How much plastic is already accumulated in our oceans? Is it A, 50 million tons, B, 100 million tons, or C, 150 million tons? Think about it because at the end of the video, you'll be able to find out if you were right. Consequences of plastic in the ocean. On one hand, plastic waste causes entanglement in certain marine animals, hindering their development and even causing their death. Some of these animals mistake the pieces of plastic for their usual food, something that can block their stomach and also lead to their death. Likewise, human beings also ingest these materials as a consequence of the food chain. In addition, in the long process of decomposition, microplastics and nanoplastics release chemicals that are harmful to life in ocean waters. On the other hand, there are some species of bacteria that develop on plastic, which moves freely and take them to ecosystems that they're not adapted to. And lastly, Plastic waste in the ocean also has a negative impact on our economy, especially the tourism and the fishing sectors. Solutions for plastic waste. The solutions must involve producers, consumers, and those who manage waste, but of course it has to be supported by the governments. The main solutions we propose are reduce the consumption of plastic and avoid using single-use plastic. In fact, the European Parliament has approved a ban on single-use plastics from 2021. Buy foods that are sold in bulk so you can avoid buying plasticized and packaged foods in excess. Avoid using cosmetics and microplastics and opt for biodegradable clothing. Reuse. If you already have plastic products, try to reuse them as much as possible. Recycle. Leave the plastic in the right place to be properly processed so it doesn't end up in our oceans. Demand that more efficient recycling methods be available, as there are still types of plastic that cannot be recycled. Lastly, another solution that can help is to create taxes for the most polluting plastic. This way, companies will make an extra effort to opt for plastic that can be recycled or biodegradable options, which is even better. There are also solutions for the plastic that is already in the ocean, such as the Ocean Cleanup Project. This is a mechanism that collects the garbage from the sea with the help of structures designed properly so as to not cause damage to the fauna and flora. Another project, 
devised by Norwegian tycoon, is the launch of a large research vessel that will pursue novel solutions for cleaning plastic from the oceans. Finally, recycling can be improved with the help of bacteria that ingest PET. And going back to the question we had asked you before, have you thought about it? The correct answer is C. In our seas and oceans, there are 150 million tons of accumulated plastic. In fact, it's estimated that no less than 4.8 to 12.7 million tons of plastic end up in the oceans each year. So tell us in the comments below, what are you going to do to reduce plastic waste in the ocean? We hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.